They're probably over there. Well, we're down everybody's favorite aisle, <laughs> Dollar Tree. <laughs> the chocolate lines. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what Grandma wants, huh? I don't want them. Oh, you want them for the kids? Mm -hmm. That's it? You just want to give all the, the all the junk food cookies. to the kids, huh? Those are Dad's favorite cookies. These are delicious. These iced animal cookies. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, I, I love those. I had those for my birthday. These aren't the ones that are have the frosting, though. I like the tin can Mom, one. First time in a Chinese right, restaurant in a long time. <laughs> you don't tell me when one of these days are. What Honestly, do you think, Maria? How are your Chinese onion rings? Well, I haven't had them yet. All I've had was cantaloupe. <coughs> oh, okay. How was the Chinese cantaloupe? Great. 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 <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> How does it feel to be out and about? I like this one. It feels wonderful <laughs> to be out and about, to go to Dollar Tree, and to come here at the Chinese place. We had a nice visit with Mom. Right, Maria? Did you have fun with Grandma today? Yep. Yep. That was fun. So it's always fun to go into Dollar Tree and see what they have and just kind of... Get a bunch of candy. <laughs> That's pretty much what we got, isn't it? Grandma had fun buying you guys candy and some definitely a whole lot of snacks and treats. So now we're just going to head into Target. We have to get a couple birthday presents and um, oh, Sam's I'm, birthday is coming up. And so, first, I didn't yeah. see the Target sign. You didn't like, see that? What is this new store? Yeah, what's this new store? We never make it to Target. Let's see if we can find him some birthday presents. All right, we found what we were looking for. There's a hair attached to my camera here. Found what we were looking for. A couple white t-shirts and some blender bottles. <laughs> All right, well, it's 4.34 now, and Maria and I, we are pretty much out of steam, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go into Aldi here. We're back, like, home. We were gallivanting around in other cities. <clears throat> Maybe you were able to guess some of those cities that we were in today. Um, but anyway, here we are. Oh, wow, <laughs> you little monster. So we're at Aldi here and we are going to just pick up some groceries here as well as, so like just basic groceries, as well as groceries for Sam's birthday tomorrow. Okay, so at 7.15, Maria and I are home. She's just relaxing, it looks like, and we got everything set up. Actually, she was helping me haul everything in. Anyway, let's just go through um, our shopping day. We made a whole lot of stops and not, and I did not film at every one, but you know that we were at Dollar Tree. We were at the Chinese restaurant. I think it's called China House. We okay. were at Target. We were at the music store. We were at a post office in Stevens Point. We didn't even go to our normal post office to um, ship off cookbooks. So I think I shipped off uh, one, two, three, four, seven, four. I think I shipped off 11 cookbooks today. So thank you so much for that. And... We Aldi. went to Aldi, and then we had to go to Pick and Save, and then we and went then to Shoe Sensation, and oh my gosh, let's turn the camera around. Let's just start, whoa, look at that in the camera. Woo. Let's start with um, Dollar Tree. Grandma absolutely loves to let the kids, whoever go along, pick out lots and lots of snacks. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to tuck away, and you know we might bring it out if we have like let's say a campfire. Sometimes I bring things out if we are like going to take like a little day trip or something like that, and we will bring stuff like this out. So anyway, the fudge striped cookies. Here's a lot of candy bars. I did get these. Both of these I picked out. For Warren because last time I bought him a little pack of these as like truck snacks for him <laughs> a little recharge while he's working and I would and when I brought him out some of our older kids were here and they're all like can I have one can I have one and I was like sure and pretty soon they were all gone Warren's like oh thanks I thought those were for me <laughs> so anyway I bought those specifically for him Sam wanted, wants a angel food cake with white frosting and Kit Kats crushed up and sprinkled on his for his birthday cake so we picked up those for that and then Twix and Butterfinger. Maria picked those out. And then just some of these cookies for fun. Bugles, Grandma. I think she must really like those because she's like, oh, do the kids want bugles? Of course, Maria's like, sure. And then these little frosted animal graham crackers. And then some cheddar fries. A great big pile of the theater box candy. I think five of these are for Sam for his birthday. So yeah. Grandma wanted to get him some of these little jerky pouches here. So we got five jerky pouches. 
and five candies because, you know, when you're turning 17, having a snack stash is not a bad thing. <laughs> and then this, is this three liters? 2.75 liters of lemon lime soda. So we do still have rhubarb slush left and the vodka slush left from 4th of July. So, but all the soda is already gone because... I guess we just went through that faster than the slush. So anyway, um, picked up another one of those so that we can, you know, continue to eat those slushes. And then this was a fabulous, fabulous buy for Dollar Tree. Now, these are the Nestle Splash. This is the Mandarin Orange. They also had the, I don't know if you pronounce it, Acai Grape, but for a dollar. Now, when I was just at Pick and Save, they were on sale two packet, um, two for four dollars. So that is a total, you know, that's like half off, which is a great price. I think last week when I bought these for 4th of July, I paid over two something, um, or over two, it was like two something at Walmart. So when I saw those, I know Mandarin is a good flavor. Everybody likes that, so I picked it up. Some movie theater butter popcorn. We haven't had microwave popcorn in ages, so that's going to be a treat. And then two rolls of wrapping paper. If you buy the Dollar Tree wrapping paper, one thing you have to know is it's thin and it tears easy. But if you're just trying to wrap a present quick and, you know, it's not going to go through <laughs> the ringer, then this wrapping paper is just fine. There is something that I still want to try to do for Sam for his birthday. I'm going to see if maybe I can make that happen at Walgreens tomorrow on his birthday. We'll see. But anyway, I bought a frame for that. And then some Maria had mentioned that our dry erase markers were all dried out picked up some of those and then for Sam's birthday tomorrow I thought these were cute plates he's kind of my Hawaiian guy he likes Hawaiian type shirts and things like that and flamingos and palm trees and whatever and shirts and shorts so picked up those plates and then we had to get two things of candles because he's going to be 17 there's only 16 in here a couple graduation cards and then these I saw Maria had got gotten a counted cross stitch that was actually stamped on the fabric on the cross stitch fabric and she and Peter were really yes you can have the dry erase markers really really having a good time like trading off and doing the stitching of that um, cross stitch well we saw these at Dollar Tree it's plastic with bigger holes and yarn it's not printed on here though but I said I bet you could probably um, manage that. It says for ages six and up, so as long as I help get her started. Anyway, I'm just babbling now, but I picked out three of them. I even thought that maybe Joe would like if I just tied a knot in the end. He might like to stitch along as well. I'm sure it's not going to be, you know, it's not like he's going to make one of these, but he'll have fun. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see if we can talk him into it. And then some of these T-bones. These are actually for Eska. Grandma never forgets about Eska either. And then some hair clips for Maria. So she had some matching ones again. And then a fan. She has been making paper fans lately like crazy. And she saw these and thought that was so much fun. So got one of those. This little tray, this is actually, you know, it's like that balsa wood and you can paint it. So Maria has plans on painting that. And then look at this. This is a cat dish. We don't have a cat. But we're going to get one. <laughs> but we're going to get one. We're just waiting for it to grow up a little bit, right? It's yeah. still a nursing kitty, so we have to wait for it to get to be like eight weeks old or so. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do to the pan, I want to um, paint cookies on it. Oh. So it looks like a cookie pan. Oh. And then paint it like red. So oh, on here. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's what I want to do. That'll be neat. And that is everything from Dollar Tree. Actually... My mom did get, I would say, probably 10 items as well. So she got some soda for a friend, and she got a couple, some toothpaste, and I can't remember what all was in her bag. But anyway, that's everything, and that was $65 at Dollar Tree. So at Aldi's, I did pick up three gallons of milk, some heavy whipping cream. I wanted the full-size corn dogs, but these were the last two boxes that they had, so I picked up the mini ones this time some more of these deluxe beef patties. This is from Pick and Save, Wenzel's Farm Sausage. We, I like to just keep a stick on hand because it just comes in handy as a quick little, you know, party, fa not party favor, but a little quick little party food. Some more of these hash browns. These have been going over really, really well with the kids in the summer. And then this was not on my list to get chicken legs, 
But last night I did make some barbecued chicken thighs on the grill. It took a long, long time, but they were very, very good. And just Sweet Baby Ray's Lowry Salt and chicken. But anyway, since it was $2 off, both of them were. And this is for the date of July 10th. Today's July 9th. I'll pop these in the freezer and bring them out at a later date. We'll grill those up and they'll be delicious, delicious. So I would say that's probably my best Aldi tip is even if you are not looking for meat, head over to the meat aisle and see what types of meat they have at $2 off. And, you know, if it's something you eat, pick it up and put it in your freezer because it does really, really uh, pay off. So this was $4.58 for five and a half pounds. So that's well under a dollar a pound. And that's a great price for meat. Picked up some crinkle fries and some more of this chicken breast. This is that rotisserie seasoned. This was delicious. I bought it for the 4th of July weekend. We didn't. Did we end up having sandwiches on? Maria, we didn't on Sunday. Yep. After the parade, we didn't. We had the leftover brats and hot dogs, and then we also had egg salad. But then it must have been Monday and Tuesday. We ate um, we ate lunch meat sandwiches for like both days. <laughs> so we ate it up, and it was delicious. Three sausage pizzas. I thought this is what we were going to do for supper tonight, but when I talked to the guys, because the guys are actually at the Iola Car Show today, uh, when I talked to them, they were still quite a ways out, and they were going to be going for supper with the friends that they went with. So Marie and I could just do our own thing. A couple cans of mixed vegetables. I did pick up some cereal, crispy rice for, crisp, for Rice Krispies and dried cranberries at bedtime. We're trying this. I always remember that Amber used to like this cereal. I don't really know. Maria thought she might like it, so we picked it up. And then some of the granola cereal. Three boxes of graham crackers. Those are going to be for a campfire tomorrow night, as well as for Joe for breakfasts and the other kids too. You know, I don't discriminate. <laughs> and then, too fast, so can't eat oh, Maria says that he'll eat them up too fast so they can't even have any. And then some of these deluxe singles. Sam would like to have real Big Macs. What he means by real Big Macs is he wants the actual sesame seed buns. He wants to do the two patties with an extra, you know, uh, bottom bun in the middle. He wants the actual shredded lettuce. And so that's what we're doing for his birthday supper is real Big Macs. He wants Doritos and he wants watermelon. And I think that is it. I did pick up some cheese curds. Someone mentioned on my grocery haul, they're like, where are the cheese curds? Honestly, Aldi has been out of cheese curds every time. And there's a different brand at Walmart that I don't really care for. They're just a little too dry. So since I went to Pick and Save today, I picked up the dill and garlic and these cheddar cheese curds. They're a different brand. Um, Star Dairy out of Wyoiga. Hey, I was just actually not that far from that place today. Some cranberry juice, some apple juice. I got five bags of Doritos. They actually had them for, a, if you bought five, you got them $1.99 a bag at Pick and Save today. So I picked up five of those. Two of these for sure will probably be for Sam's birthday. The other three I will tuck out far, far away into the depths of my closet and bring them out at a later date. Otherwise, they will all get eaten in the first 10 minutes. Some fruit snacks, which also will get eaten in the first couple of days. Some cashews. I finally think I finished. I might have a handful left of cashews. So I think I overdosed on cashews because I kind of got to a point where I just didn't want another cashew actually another nut at all. So trying, trying to eat what I know makes my joints feel good. And I know that nuts and cheese, actually higher fat, lower carb foods really do help that. And vegetables, sweet potatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, things like that. Here are the sesame seed buns. So I did have to get two packages of the Village Hearth and one of the pep Pepperidge Farm. These are the last two of that and the last one of this. I was glad I was able to find those. Some strawberries from Aldi. These, I should say, were from Pick and Save. The shredded lettuce was from Pick and Save. And then I did pick up three sweet potatoes from Aldi, a whole bunch of bananas, lettuce. The lettuce in our garden, well, you guys saw it on the first vegetable garden tour, and it was pretty, pretty dinky. It is growing. At least two of them are growing really, really well. 
just not ready to pick yet. So some lettuce, a few cucumbers, because still, you know, I don't have cucumbers yet. And a melon. Did I get everything? Are All right, well, sure we just had a bummer. It will be like this? Uh, I think that they would, yep. So a bummer. Maria had picked out these dry erase, and what happened? The purple won't work. The purple doesn't work, and she said that was the one she actually wanted. <laughs> because the only dry erase marker colors that we've had were red, blue, and black. And they threw in a purple, and it didn't work. Well, that's a bummer. I told you that we took a stop at Target, and I did pick up a tank top here, a white tank top. So Sam got some new shorts. I wouldn't call them crazy, but they're they're fun. <laughs> they're like handkerchief kind of style shorts. Anyway, they're hard to match with. So I, for his birthday, I got him a white tank top. And then this one is actually not white. It's just a smidge off-white because one of the pairs, he got three pair, and one of the pairs... I feel like the paisley kind of print from the handkerchief kind of part of it is not perfectly white, so I thought maybe this would be a good color for it. He also has been wanting a Key of D harmonica, and so I picked up one of those at the music store today. Also dropped off his guitar to have it restrung, so they're going to restring it. It'll be late. We're going to have to pick it up after his birthday, but he'll... he'll still enjoy that anyway. I just, I don't shop at Pick and Save often, so we're walking through Pick and Save. I'm like, they have these really cool flip-flops. Warren really could use a pair of just kind of, I mean, just really nice basic flip-flops like this. They say they're actually machine washable and everything, and they're supposed to be antimicrobial and anti-whatever. So they're not supposed to smell, they're not supposed to mold, they're not supposed to anything. So I picked those up for him, and then I still had money on my gift card that I had gotten for my birthday at Shoe Sensation, and so I did pick up this pair of sandals. They've been pretty low on stock. I was talking to the sales clerk today, and he said that one, due to COVID last year, and then two, due to the ship getting um, caught in the canal. Was that the Suez Canal? Right, Panama Canal. He said that when the ship got stuck, they have been very, very low on getting stuff. That They actually have all their winter boots out already because he said they have that, but they just don't, they don't have much. So anyway, I've been going in there hoping to find some new styles and things, but not too much. But I did catch these, which I didn't see last time, and I tried them on. I really like them, so picked up these new sandals. And then also for Sam, this was at Target. I did pick him up two new blender bottles, one of the tall ones and one of the short ones, because he really likes these for mixing protein powders and things like that, before or after, whatever, when he works out. And, I don't know, they just wear out or they get lost, and his are missing, I guess. <laughs> And if you like Dollar Tree and um, Aldi hauls, I'll put a couple here. You can click on those. So now it's time to get everything put away. And then I think Maria and I are just going to sit down. We have a few chapters to read in... What book do we have left? A to Z Mysteries. Yes, A to Z Mysteries. Which one are we reading? The Kidnapped? It's, it's A, B. No, it's A to Z. What? It's A to Z Mysteries. Yes, we have The Kidnapped Kid or something like that. Yeah, that we're it's Kidnapped reading. King. Oh, The Kidnapped King. You're right. So we're, we have to finish up that book, so I'm going to read that to her tonight, and we are going to go. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.